What is up guys, welcome to Fat Belly Fishing. My name is Logan. Today I'm excited because I get to show all of you guys how to catch speckled trout in the winter months. I live in Florida, so the winter months aren't as harsh as Louisiana or Texas, but the method will work. I'm gonna be going over step by step throughout the whole course of the video, what areas I'm looking for for these trout, what bait I'm using, what color, and most of all, I'm gonna be catching speckled trout. Now there's a few questions we have to ask ourselves. So the, the very first one, if I was a speckled trout, what would I wanna eat this time of year? It's cold out, it's not always sunny, it's usually windy. What kind of bait fish is around that I can target as a speckled trout? Usually in the winter month, a lot of the uh, inshore species target shrimp and crustaceans like crabs, sand flea, the little mangrove crabs, especially for sheephead, but that's another subject. They're basically looking on the bottom because all of the inshore bait fish has moved offshore for the most part. I'm gonna help you guys catch a trout so you can go home and have beans, rice with Jesus Christ and Byron. Here's the lure that I'm fishing with today. A Skelly Shrimp Lures by Ketchco are so durable. I've been fishing in these for like three episodes and it has not broken yet. Boom. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but a big fish just ate over there. Let's see if Mr. Skelly himself can help me out. Look at that tail action. Sexy. I'm gonna show you guys how to work these lures. It's so simple, even a sea cucumber could do it. If you're a sea cucumber, you might wanna click off the video. Bait of yours, chuck it out there. Let it sink to the bottom. And then pop it off the bottom so that bait is twerking his little butt on the way back in. I'll tell you what, if I saw a shrimp twerking, I'd eat them too. So the next thing we want to do is kind of find an area to fish. So trout love grass flats, but they like grass flats that have like sandy patches in them. Uh, trout love points. So if I'm looking over there, there's a point there. A point. So if you look at the water right now, there's grass and there's sand mixed in like patchiness. That's what I'm looking for. The trout will kind of sit on the edges of them and then ambush their prey. So they're on the grass flats this time of year because a lot of shrimp hide in the grass flats as well. Oh, there's a trout, 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 trout. That's a good trout too. Shoot, he's probably 18 to 20 inches right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, he hit that close. I love thick trout like this. All right, let's get you. Look at that trout right there. That's an epic trout. Look at the yellow in his mouth. Isn't that beautiful? He's probably tired. That is an absolutely beautiful trout. That was probably like 20 inches, maybe. He hit it so close. I, I came over here looking for the trout and I, I ended up catching a snook as well. I don't know if I showed it yet, but basically I'm just fishing a grass flat that kind of protrudes down in the water into a big hole. And I figured they'd be over here and uh, pretty accurate. I genuinely want to teach you guys how to catch fish. Uh, that's kind of why I'm on YouTube, whether it's redundant or not. It's things that work. Something you guys can also do is see these schools of mullet right here disturbing all the water. Trout and redfish will follow behind them because mullet will kick up uh, crustaceans like crabs and shrimp. And basically it's a free meal for them. So don't be afraid to cast into groups of mullet like this. Oh, we got trout, we got trout. Good little fish here, good little fish. Get the hands wet for them. Come on in. Oh, there it is. Trout with the skelly swim right there. Beautiful little fish. We want the big papa trout, but he'll do for now. Just got a little trout on the skelly here a little baby a little baby a little baby we'll let her go Let's be free little one be free well guys that's all i got for you today if you guys enjoyed this video 
please like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. As always, tight lines and a margarita. Good time.